Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to automatically group form responses into separate files. This easy solution will save you a lot of time and effort. All right, let's get started. First, you'll need the settings template. You can find the link in the video description below. Go ahead and make a copy for yourself, and I'll walk you through how to set it up. Okay, great, the template is ready. All right, we need to first get the form responses URL. Let's head to our form responses. As you can see, I have some form responses collected in a Google Sheet. Let me copy the URL over here. And we head back to the template and paste the URL right here. Okay, next, we need the URL of the Google Drive folder to put all our files in. Now I have already created an empty folder and I will copy the URL of the folder here. And we head back to the template to paste the URL right here. Okay, next, we need to put down the column letter to group the form responses into different files. Let's go back to the form responses sheet. Okay, let's say I want one file for each workshop, so I will take note of the column letter. And we go back to the template and type the column letter right here. Oh, by the way, you can also add a second or third column letter for more groupings. Next up, click on the special menu up here and press this option. Since this is the first time you're running the script, a pop-up will appear as Google Sheets will be asking for permissions. Just follow the prompts shown in this video to grant access. And yes, our script is running and it is currently creating the files automatically. This may take some time depending on how many files are being created. And yes, we are done. Let's check out our folder. And yes, the files are all here. Let's click on one of them. And yes, as you can see, similar responses have been grouped together in this file, making it very convenient for you. Let's check out the other file too. Same thing here, all working as it should. Oh, by the way, a menu tab will also be created to make it easy for you to access the different files just by clicking. To automate things further, you can set the process to run automatically by selecting this to install a 5-minute trigger. This means the script will check for new responses every 5 minutes. I would like to point to you that in the form responses sheet, there will be a column created a few columns after the last column of data. This will help to keep track which rows have been processed. Now you can also adjust the column widths of your files by putting the column letter here and the column width. Let's put something here. By going to the menu and selecting this, the column widths will be adjusted automatically. And that's it. With just a few clicks, you can automate the grouping of responses into separate files. If you found this helpful, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more automation tips that will make your life easier. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.